so it's a beautiful day today it's really gorgeous lots of snow and i'm about to go paddling i love winter paddling it's beautiful i love the atmosphere on the water i love the cool crisp air but i just wanted to explain why i'm wearing gloves and a hat and my life vest some of you have seen me swim in the cold water in a normal bathing suit and you may wonder shouldn't i be used to the cold and yes i am used to the cold water and it's a process so there's a certain protocol how you can get in and when i'm paddling it's a totally different situation even if you are very experienced you can fall in especially in winter For example, because ice accumulates on your board and you slip and fall when stepping back for a buoy turn. When you fall, it happens suddenly. Not like the controlled and slow entry I do in swimming. And I may experience the cold water shock response, which increases the heart rate drastically and can result in a heart attack or stroke and rapid involuntary breathing. If your head is underwater and you take a deep <gasps> breath in, you drown. There's a second mechanism that is also very dangerous. The combination of cold water shock and the human diving response. When your face is underwater, receptors signal the heart rate to slow down. The heart now receives two conflicting signals. The cold water shock tells it to speed up and the human diving response tells it to slow down. Confused, the heart does nothing, which leads to drowning. The third danger is the cooling of the muscles. In a cold environment, especially if you're wet and there's wind chill, your body directs blood away from the arms and legs to the core. You lose strength in your arms and legs because your muscles don't work properly anymore. In swimming it's called cold water swimming failure, but it can also happen when you're paddling. So that's why I wear a dry suit and other protective gear, even though I'm used to the cold. So enjoy the winter time, stay warm and stay safe.